This is not NBC, and I am not Chris Hansen. That's fine, because Chris Hansen is actually kind of creepy. No, we're here today to track down our own particular type of predator. He's the guy who runs through the hills, valleys, mountainsides of the Call of Duty maps. He's known as a camper. And today, we are here to expose him and bring him to justice on this episode of To Catch a Camper. Now you may be asking what exactly qualifies one as a camper. Well here at the show we've determined that anyone who will set up in one spot for more than 15 seconds is a camper. You see part of the gameplay is to run from place to place and you will set up and take a look around before moving on. That's perfectly acceptable. Sitting like that is not camping. But if you've been there for more than 15 seconds, you've taken root and you are now known as a camper. The scourge of Call of Duty. You may say it's a choice in gaming style, and it may be, but it's a douchebag choice. So on this show, we will expose campers and bring them to the light of justice. Let's take a look at what we found so far. Okay, and here he comes, looking for his spot. Lockboog sits down, and the clock is on. Will he make 15 seconds and become a camper? Lockboog sits into position in a cowardly hidden corner of a map. Oh, he turns around to look at the rocks. I'm not sure if he felt threatened by the presence of a rock person or something, but now he continues dancing around uneasily. He knows eyes are upon him, maybe. Maybe he knows that he's a camper and he's having... Oh, wait, I'm not, I'm not sure what that motion meant. I think it meant I'm about to start playing with myself. I can only imagine that campers would take part in such things because they have to have something to do while they're sitting here playing what is supposed to be an action game. But Oh, and now he, he takes a few shots. And at 38.08 seconds, he moves. He, Lock Boogs has definitely become a camper. But let's see let's see his reward for all that camping. Now he's taking his... Oh, there's poor Curtis Candy. Running, and he shoots a tree. Now Lock Boogs just sat for 38 seconds of gameplay to shoot a tree. I mean, if his goal in this game were to create sap, he has succeeded. Otherwise, not so much. Okay, and he tries to camp on a ledge, but falls off. And now, oh, he takes out a poor, honest player who falls into the web of campingness. And he continues sitting right there in the grass, like the snake that he is. And now he misses a shot, takes a shot at the guy when he comes around the other side and continues to miss. Goes back to camping. I think we're seeing a definite pattern here. Reloads. Hypers around a little bit, looking around, looking around. Oh, and another poor, innocent soul is taken down by this heinous camper. Let's take a look at that face, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that face. This is Locked Boogs. If you see him on a map, please kill him with utter disdain. Locked Boogs. That's right. You're a camper. So there you have it. Locked Boogs, we deem you a camper. Now stay tuned, because in future episodes, we have found some of the most egregious campers out. Egregious, that's a pretty good word, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Chris Hansen listeners, he had cool words like that. I looked it up. But we have found some of the most egregious campers in all of Call of Duty. We will bring them to the light of justice. We will bring them to you, the jury of their peers. That's it. I'm out of really ominous-sounding lead-ins to the next video. So until then, see you soon.